You're watching episode number nine of Windows 365 Masterclass. In this episode, we are going to learn about Windows 365 Frontline. There are two ways you can configure your cloud PCs, one with the enterprise license and another one with the Frontline license. The Frontline allows you to configure three cloud PCs with one Frontline license. So let me show you how you can configure and set up this Windows 365 Frontline. Let's begin. First, let's talk about one of the main difference between Windows 365 Enterprise and the Frontline license. How it shows up in your tenant. So I'm on my Microsoft 365 admin portal. You can go to admin.microsoft365.com. And if you go under billing and click on licenses, even if you have the Windows 365 Frontline license, you will not be able to see it over here. As you can see that I have Windows 10 enterprise license, Windows enterprise license with different SKUs, but no frontline licenses here. To find frontline licenses, you have to go to your products. So click on your products. This is where you would be able to see the frontline license. So towards the bottom, you can see that there is Windows 365 frontline with the SKU, which is 2 vCPU, 8 GB RAM, 250 GB hard disk license available for me in this tenant. So if you click on this, you can see that I have five licenses bought for this tenant. And this clearly states that this license can't be assigned to a user or a device. So this is a tenant wide license, not a user or a group based licensing. As long as you have the license in your tenant, the group you associate this to the provisioning policy determines who gets it. Don't worry about it, I will show you what I mean. So if you wanna compare the difference, if I go back to product and click on a enterprise license, let's click on enterprise four vCPU. You can see that I have four or five licenses assigned to somebody and there is one license available. That means it's easier for us to assign it to a group or a user, wherein frontline, this is not possible to assign it to a user or a device. So that's the first difference. Now let's learn how to configure it. To configure the frontline license, I'm going to the Intune portal. You can access this by going into endpoint.microsoft.com. Within that, click on devices. Under device onboarding, click on cloud PC creation. This is where you can see all the provisioned cloud PCs, your status of your cloud PCs. You can see all the cloud PCs which is available. All of these cloud PCs are the enterprise cloud PCs. How do you know that? If you go to the PC type, you can see what type of cloud PC this is and what SKUs are assigned to these users. And we have learned about how to create provisioning policies, custom images, network configuration in the previous episodes. So if you have not sure how to do that, please go and watch the previous episodes. In this episode, what we are gonna do is we are gonna create a new provisioning policy for the Windows 365 frontline. So to do that, click on create a policy. You know what? Before we create the provisioning policy, let's create a group and add some frontline users to the group. So let's go to groups, click on groups, click on new group, group type, retain as security and give a name to your group. I'm going to call it as Windows 365 frontline user group. Give a description. I don't need Azure AD roles. So I'm going to retain as it is. Membership type as assigned and go to add members. And let's pick some users. So I'm gonna add some users. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm adding nine users in my company to the frontline users group and click on select and click on create. So let's do a quick refresh and search for Windows 365 frontline user group. You can see that we created a new group and that user group, if you open it, go to members, you can see that all the members we have added are part of this group. 
I have few admins, I have few on-prem users, and I have few cloud-bound users as well. So we will test various features and functionalities of Windows 365 Frontline in this episode. So now let's go back to devices. Under device onboarding, click on Cloud PC creation, click on provisioning policies, and you can see that I have three different policies. All these three policies are for enterprise license. So we, we don't have any frontline policy yet. So I'm gonna create a new provisioning policy. Click on create a new policy. First, give a name. I'm gonna call it Windows 365 Frontline Azure AD Joint plus Microsoft Hosted Network. That's the architecture I am gonna use. Again, if you want to know three different architecture, I've created, I think episode number three, four, and five are three different architecture. You can go and watch that and a provisioning policy. I'm gonna use that same as the description as well. Here, under license type, instead of enterprise, this time we're gonna select frontline. Here you can clearly see that a frontline license can give you up to three user cloud PCs, but only one user can access at the same time. So we will test that feature as well. So let's scroll down. Under join type, I'm going to use Azure AD join. And under network, I'm going to retain Microsoft hosted network. Here, you have to select the region where you want to host it. So I'm going to host it in Australia because that is closer to me. And click next. Under image, we have two options, gallery image or custom image. I'm going to retain gallery image. And I'm going to pick the latest Microsoft provided image, which is Windows 11 with Microsoft 365 apps and 22H2. Click select and next. Under configuration, I'm going to retain the language as English. Under PC naming, I'm going to this time provide a template so that I can distinctly figure out which one is my frontline PCs and which one is my uh, the enterprise PC. So the template I'm going to give is CPC dash frontline worker dash percentage percentage random colon five. So ideally my cloud PCs will start with CPC frontline worker with some random number. So I'll show you once we provision it. Under additional services, I'm going to retain as none. Click next. This is where we are going to assign it to a group. So this determines out of all these users, which is part of this group, who gets a cloud PC, sorry, frontline license cloud PC. So search for the group we created. I'm going to search for Windows 365. Um, we have few groups. I'm going to select the one we created for frontline users. Select, click next. Oops. Yep. Oh, there is one more step. So if you choose the frontline user group, we need to select the cloud PC size. I only have one user type, so it's easier for me to select. But imagine if you have multiple frontline SKUs, then you individually have to select different SKUs. Since I have five licenses, this states that I have 15 cloud PCs available. So I can configure up to 15 users, but only five users can sign in at the same time. So in this group, I have nine members. If you look at the SKU, it says that with this SKU, I can provision up to 15 cloud PC. So let's select that, click select, next, review it and click on create. All right, so the provisioning policy for the front line is created. Now, if you go back under overview, you will be able to see the cloud PC will be in the provisioning status. Another way to check is if you go to all cloud PCs, if I scroll down, you can see that there are lots of cloud PCs are under provisioning. So let me quickly zoom out. All right, so now you would be able to see, I can, you can probably see that we have four cloud PCs provisioned. These are all my old cloud PCs, which are enterprise license. Now there are, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine cloud PCs under provisioning at the moment. These are all using Windows 11 Enterprise, 
but the policy which is kicked off this process is the frontline policy. So I'm not sure how long this process is going to take, more than 20 to 30 minutes. I'll pause the video. I'll see you on the other side. All right, so our frontline cloud PCs are all provisioned. So you can see that everything is provisioned now. So now let's go and connect to these uh, cloud PCs. So what I'm going to do right now is to show you how to connect using an app. So this is a physical device. I just screen shared it. So let's go to this Windows device. I'm going to use the Windows 365 app. This user is being signed in already. So you can see that this user, we have two cloud PCs assigned. One is the regular cloud PC, which is 4V CPU, 16 GB RAM. This is the enterprise licenser. Uh, this, this particular cloud PC holds an enterprise license. Another one is the front line. So I can go and rename this cloud PC. I can basically remove all of that. And I can just name it as Windows 365 front line. All right, so to connect to this cloud PC, all I have to do is click on connect. So you get a warning before connecting to disconnect when finished. So you will never get this warning when you try to connect to your Windows 365 enterprise license because this is a totally different uh, licensing model. So if you do not disconnect after your shift work, the other users who are waiting to connect to their cloud PC will not be able to connect it. So the idea behind this is you only use it during your shift work time. So click on connect. This is going to log in to that user for the first time. I'm going to provide the password one more time. And I'm going to select remember me and click on OK. All right. So now it is logging in as this user. All right. So this user is signed into their cloud PC for the first time. So this looks exactly same as Windows 365 Enterprise. It is a full blown um, device. Um, it's not a multi session. So if I go back to about to check the system configuration, you can see that this is a 2V CPU, 8 GB RAM machine. It's a cloud PC. So if I go back to my portal, so we have these frontline licenses provisioned for nine users because those many users are who I assigned this license to. Because I only have five licenses, technically only five people can access at the same time. So let's try to log in to these frontline licenses from five different users and we'll see if the sixth user is able to sign in at, or not. So this is going to be a little tricky. I need to find a different browser, different ways to lo log in at the same time. So one user we signed in with this physical PC. I can probably go to a browser within this itself and log in as a different user. So I'm going to pick the second user, which is on-prem user one to log in as the second flex license. All right. So let me see. Okay. I can see the frontline license. I'm going to click on open in a browser. I'm going to accept the default and click on allow. Click OK. All right, so that is signing in. So I'm going to use, so now we have signed in with two different users. Let's find another way to sign into another user account. Third, I'm going to use an iPad to sign into another user account. Let me quickly use Edge browser. So I'm going to use the Edge browser. Let's launch in in private browser and go to the Windows 365 portal and sign in with the user. Provide the password and click on sign in. And let's click on open in a browser. This is the frontline licensing and accept the default and click allow to connect. And this is a warning you get with logging into any flex or frontline licensing cloud PC. Disconnect when you finish. Click OK. So that's the third one. So we signed into three user account. Let's go to another machine and sign in to the fourth account. I'm going to quickly minimize this. We'll come back to this later. So this time I'm going to use another server operating system to sign in. So this is my Azure PC, oh, sorry, Azure server. Let's launch the browser. I'm going to open the in private browser. Let's pick the next user. So we used Shashimi on-prem user Nigiri. Let's use the fourth user, which is on-prem user 2. Again, I'm going to repeat the same process. 
go to the Windows 365 portal and sign in with the user and click on sign in and the cloud PC is provisioned for this user as well so we have four and the fifth one is the admin account itself so what I have done I opened a Windows 365 portal and signed in with that user as well now we have actually five frontline PCs signed in so technically it should not allow the sixth user to sign in because we I only have five frontline licenses I've logged in as five different users using those licenses but I have assigned this license to nine users but at the same time only five users should be able to log in so let's use this user Mackey at agtc.com to sign in so I'm going to use it in private browser go to windows 365.microsoft.com and sign in as the sixth user and click on sign in yes I should see a frontline cloud PC available for this user skip through the initial wizard click on get started yep I can see that there is a cloud I mean like there is a frontline licenses along with the enterprise license for this user so you can see that on the banner itself there is no option for me to connect to this uh, cloud PC it says that the cloud PC should be available soon so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my iPad I'm going to quickly go to start and I'm going to disconnect so when you see that the disconnect when you do that and it ends the connection to this remote PC so I'm going to quickly click on disconnect and the session is disconnected so if I want I can reconnect it otherwise let's stay disconnected I'm going to close this browser let's move the iPad over to another screen now let's come to this user which is Mackey that is the sixth user let's quickly refresh the screen while we wait for the license to free up let me quickly show you where you can actually find the reporting available so you go to your devices click on overview under overview there is a new tab called cloud PC performance review so click on that tab under that there are three different uh, reports available so the concurrency status utilization connection quality issues etc so within that you can click on cloud PC low utilization report this is where you can see that all cloud PCs which are connected let's look at the other report this report shows the concurrency status so you can see that we assigned the license to vCPU 8 GB RAM and we only can allocate five users signing at the same time and the error message states that the reached concurrency limit so that means we have to sign in or sign out of one of the user to access it now let's check one more time I'm going to quickly refresh it yep you can see that now it is freed up so if I click on open in a browser click allow and sign in now it is signing as the sixth user so we had to disconnect from the fifth user at least one user have to disconnect for the sixth user to sign in so that's how the frontline licensing works one thing you need to keep in mind is the enterprise licenses will give you one-to-one -one mapping that user can log in at any time they want with frontline licensing one license can be assigned to three user but only one user can access the cloud PC at the same time that's the only difference I hope you find the information provided in this episode useful I will see you on the next episode take care